Okay, one last set of reminders before we go with our final press conference. As a courtesy to the gentleman up here on the stage and your fellow media members, please silence your cell phones at this time. Also, please provide your name and media affiliation with each time you ask a question. For those joining us on Zoom, use the raise hand function, and if time permits, we will get to those at the end. And of course, no video recording in this room whatsoever, so please keep those phones down for that function. And with that, Coach Anderson, any remarks on the contest? Congrats to Ford Atlantic. I thought they played very well. They um, answered every every time we made a run. I mean, we made a, a great second half, got off to a, a great start. I didn't think we played great the first half, didn't play FDU basketball. And then the second half, we played really well. It had a couple runs. We got it by, by, I don't know, it was by four a couple times or by three. Um, and they answered. They answered every every time they hit a big three or made big shots. Davis hurt us, obviously, so congrats to them. Wishing the best going forward. I couldn't be more proud um, of a basketball team and a bunch of guys than I am of my guys right here. And the guy, my guys here, my guys in the locker room. Uh, what a historical run. We were one, we always talk about six nothing runs. We were one six nothing run away from the Sweet 16. I mean, we went toe to toe with two. You know, one, one team, a top five team in the country, and this team's a top 25 in the country. We went toe-to-toe -to -toe the last um, few days with two great teams and didn't back down, didn't go away. We're not just happy to be here. So I uh, couldn't be more proud of, of uh, our team, our players, our program, the administration, the people around me, my family. And, it, it, you know, it stinks because I told them in the locker room, the hardest part is not being able to go to practice the next day. Like, I love, I love being around these guys, and so now – you know, you don't, you don't see it as much, especially the guys who move on. So, um, but it was an incredible run, and we're, we're proud of what we did. We'll now move into questions for the players first. We'll refrain questions from Coach Anderson until the end, please. Right here first. Yeah, uh, Jake Trotter from ESPN. Guys, now that the, uh, the, the, this run is over, could you put into words what this last week has been like for you all, the magical run uh, that you guys had? Dimitri, you want to jump on that one first? Um, when we look back at things, um, we started July 5th, um, getting to know the new players, um, um, new culture, um, new coaches for you know, the players that stayed from last year. Um, you know, just learning each other, you know, going forward, nobody, we had, we was picked last in every, in every poll. Um, you know, the practices, the hard practices, um, the 6 a.m. films, the 40s and 40s, 60s and 60s that we had to run. <laughs> you know, all the running we had to do, um, you know, I, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't be more proud of this team. Um, we overcame a lot of things. Um, you know, everybody improved this year. You know, from from me to everybody else. You know, Joe Munden improved. You know, Ansley Almanor improved. Sean Moore improved. Everybody just one through fifteen improved. And you know, to get to this moment is kind of hard. You know what I mean? So. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud, you know, depending on the outcome, so. Down here in front. I'm Mark Canizaro from the New York Post. Uh, for Dimitri and Grant, can you, you, you knew this moment was going to come where you would play a last game together after all of this time. Can you speak about what your emotions are? You know, obviously it's quick after the game, but uh, I don't know if you had a word in the locker room or anything like that together. Um, no. Man, me, 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 and Grant been been close for five five years. So you know that that bond is never gonna change. You know, win, lose, or draw. You know, we still gonna stay the same. Um, you know, we 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 play the game with, with, with class. Um, we have respect. Um, that's one thing you know, I can say personally. Um, that's that's my brother, man. We 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 bond we bond well on the court and off the court. So it makes everything special. You know what I mean? So, you know. Uh, I love them forever. Grant, anything to add? Uh, yeah, just uh, you know, it's a bittersweet moment because um, you always want to uh, suit up next, the next game next to next to your brother. You know, it's always special playing next to him. Um, we feed off each other well. And like you said, that's been my brother for like five years. Uh, we've been around coach. You know, it's it's a great relationship to have. You know, but. Even off the course, everything's going to stay the same. Uh, it's still going to be my roommate. It's still going to be the guy I kick it with every day. So, you know, it's just, it's special, but, you know, you always want to suit up that next game and play, but, you know, things happen. So. Right here. Joe, Mark Canizaro from the New York Post. If I could ask you about these two guys next to you and what they've meant to you and um, – you know, just the run they had together, and certainly this year. Um, 
I think everything that these two guys have done together, in, including Coach Anderson, has is, is been nothing short of remarkable. Um, it's something that you really have to just sit back and appreciate because guards like this don't come around too often. Um, I really want to just um, take this time to just tell them how much I appreciate these these two, and these three, actually, in, including Coach. Um, these guys have came and, and changed this program in ways that I, I never could have imagined. Uh, last year, we were sitting, at this time, I was, sitting, I was sitting in my dorm room. I was sitting in my dorm room. Uh, I didn't know when, when the next time I was going to play basketball was. I, I just, and for these guys to come in and, and, uh, and bring us here to this place where we're honestly not supposed to be, it's, it's just, um, it's, it's amazing. So I really appreciate these guys, and um, I wish them the best moving forward. These are my brothers for life. Dimitri, Joe, Grant, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Questions for Coach Anderson. Tobin, uh, you, Mark Hanna's there, New York Post. Um, was there any part of when you guys come out down nine nothing where you know maybe you were just still a bit gassed from? from the last couple of days, and, and there was any no element to that at all? No, I thought we missed some oh, some easy shots early on. I actually thought we played halfway decent to start the game. We missed some a couple layups, right? Missed a couple like wide open layups, and some funny things happened. So I thought, you know, you don't want to get down 9 nothing. Was it 9-0? Was 9-0. It nine nothing? Nine nothing. Yeah, it was 9 nothing. so you don't want that to happen. But sometimes, I've been ahead sometimes 9 nothing, and, and things go crazy too, so I don't... I thought we actually were playing okay. We just missed some shots, like a couple of layups at the, at the rim. But you're always worried because, you know, it's been a crazy 48 hours for us. And so you didn't want to make, hopefully we're not content or not. Um, I didn't think we were, we were. And then once once that happened, we got through that. We were, I mean, we went toe to toe the rest of the way. You know, we ended up losing by eight. You know, I mean, we were, we were, the whole rest of the way was, was, a heck of, it was a heck of a college basketball game. If I could just follow up quickly since I have the mic uh, regarding Grant and and Dimitri, uh, I know you've spoken a lot about those two guys, but can you put into words now that it, you know it is final and they played their last game? What your emotion is? Yeah, they're like they're like sons to me. You know, they're like the, uh, 100, probably 150 games down. How many practices that? How many times at my house? My my daughter's out there. I mean, like we're, we get beat. It's not about the loss. It's about those guys moving on. You know, and that's that's uh, yeah, they're like sons. They're like so. They're, I mean, I, you couldn't ask for two better people. They were playing Division II basketball for four years, right? I mean, you watch, we, we watch these last two games. If you just put a person out there and said a neutral person and watch those two guys play, and, like, those are really good guards, very good guards. And, um, but they're even better people. They're better competitors. There's never been a time I've had to tell them to not act classy or not do the right thing or not. Um, it's just, they're just wonderful, and it's, and it's hard to get guys like that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sad because I don't get a chance to coach those two anymore. But, they don't, but well, I mean, they'll be like, you know, they're, they're like sons and they move on. And I'm so proud of those two. I mean, what, a, what a great thing for them to come here and be able to experience this, you know, to be in this environment, to see, for people to see how good they really are. So um, I'm happy for them. I mean, they were, they're nothing to be sad about. I'm sad, I'm sad that it's over. I'm sad that you, we can't practice anymore. But I'm, there's, I mean, that's, what we did was incredibly special. And that'll be something to remember for the rest of our lives. And, and they're going to have great careers and going to have great lives and great families, and they'll come back. And, you know, I had a – I had a, I don't know how many – how many of my ex-players came to the game tonight, guys flying in from all over the place I hadn't seen in 15, 20 years. And, like, as a coach, that's, the, that's just such a wonderful thing. And there's no doubt that these two guys – I mean, I'm not sure how – like I said, I hope I can coach for another – tell them, you know, they're going to go play overseas and stuff. But hopefully they'll bring their families back to see us play again in 15, 20 years. And, and um, how – yeah, I hope I'm still coaching in 15, 20 years. I don't, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But, uh, no, they're just two – Wonderful, wonderful people. Yeah, Coach, you used the, the word special. You used that uh, Saturday as well. Uh, you know, now that it is over, you know, how special has this run been for you guys? And what are you going to remember about this you know, going forward? And, and what do you think your players will remember? <laughs> everything. Everything. You know, just being here and being in this environment to see the, the, the crowd. The, tonight was the same way. You know, everybody's got chanting FDU. And, I mean, TV audience had it had it when we were going we're, we're going head to head the place going crazy I mean there's there's the police escorts the I mean everything I mean, it's a this is a great tournament it's a great um, like it makes you want to get back here as much as you can I mean I, I you know once you get to this on Division two Division three like your Division one tournament this is a pretty special thing to be in like I want to get back here I want these players I, I, if I feel that way I'm sure the players do too so I think it'll be a little more fire for us going forward but 
They'll remember the whole, everything. They'll remember each other. They'll remember the, the crowds. We left the hotel today. There's a there are bands playing, and we're high-fiving the president, who's been an unbelievable supporter, is there, and all of our friends and family are there. Like, that was incredible. I mean, <laughs> we won four. The, the, we. I won. We would. We, you know, a, the team last year, the program won four games. Well, that's, that, the story is four games to where we're We were a 6 nothing run away from the Sweet 16. We won, they won four games last year. Like, what kind of, you know, have to have that kind of people around you, the kind of character we had to fight through that and to be resilient. Like, that's, un that's I don't know about sports stories. That's going to be one of the most amazing because, like, people are saying, who was, I, was watching? K-State. K-State, Jerome Tang, really good friend of mine from Five Star years ago, right? Yeah, he's, what a great job. He's done, a great, he's done an unbelievable job. They were 15, you know, 15 and 17. They were still 15 and 17 last year. We're 4 and 22. 4 and 22 to 1. We're right there to go to Sweet 16. And that, that's not one of the most amazing things. I've seen in my life, or anybody else seen, I, I, you know, that's crazy. And so, yeah, I, I, there's every, every part of this I'll remember for forever. And they, and they will, too. We've got time for one more. You can go as long as you want to. I don't care. I'll stay up. I got, I got, I got, I got, a, char, I got a, we get a charter in the middle, middle of the night or something like that. <laughs> I, I want the Today Show tomorrow morning, so I, I'm not going to sleep anyway. So Let's keep them rolling, then. That's good. I mean, you want to go for Adam Jardy with the Columbus Dispatch. You, you mentioned just the chaos and everything in the last 48 hours. And what a team in your situation could have come out, been flat, and just never really been in the yep. game. What, what was the hardest part in the last 48 hours of, of trying to just handle everything and make sure your guys handle it in the right way? I mean, all right. I've been coaching for 21 years. I'm 51 years old, right? I walk out there to watch this, to, to, to peek at the Michigan State game, and there's people who want to get a picture with me. Who wants to get a picture with me 48 hours ago, right? And then no, I mean, my wife might get a picture with me. My kids might want a picture with me. No one else wants it. There's like people lined up to get a picture with me. So, and I'm, and I'm old, right? Imagine being 19, 20 years old. All of a sudden, we got cameras around. We got people around. They're on ESPN. They're all, I mean, it, it's a lot, right? And it's all awesome. It's all awesome. That's, that's a lot to put on people. So I was proud of the fact that, like, you know, we didn't let that bother us too much. We got off to a little slow start, but, like, we were not – Content, complacent, you know, the whole thing. So um, going through all this stuff, I mean, what an incredible thing. But, man, it's, it was, it's been a lot. It's, it's, been a, it's been a little bit. But, what, I mean, what, wonderful. It's been it's all wonderful. It's all, it's all great and, you know, incredible. Here in the middle. Ty Belcher, Ken Wired. Coach, you talked about just a few questions ago. You want to make sure that you get back here, how you love the environment. What do you have to do to ensure that this team doesn't become complacent and – can get back to this big dance that everybody dreams of getting to. Well, so my background, I was at, you know, this is, so this is my eighth, and I'm not trying to be arrogant or, or cocky, but this is my eighth division uh, NCAA tournament in a row, right? So it's stacked with the same thing. Like once, once you get here, that's a huge advantage because now the guys see all the stuff, the, all the, the bells and whistles, but also the environment, the teams. So I think it'll help. It'll motivate our guys, motivate our program, help with recruiting. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot of facets that it'll help with. So, uh, um, I think I think you know that's just a big advantage to 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 be in here for all of us going forward. But I, we, compl we will not be complacent. No, I mean I'm the, there's no way I'm not, I'm not a complacent person. So and, then we'll, and, my, my, and I have an unbelievable coaching staff. So this is gonna. I mean, let's be honest. We we were a very good basketball team the last two weeks. We were. A, I mean, we went toe to toe. We were a very good basketball team. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind. You know, there's a lot of teams I wouldn't mind playing playing right now. I wouldn't have said that a month ago. So. I think that we're just going to get better and better. The program's going to get better, and it's going to be a lot of success. We got two more if you go with the coach. Sure, go right over here. Either one, both of them. <laughs> one, then the other. <laughs> hey, coach, Sam Sprunger, Big Ten Plus Four ASAP Network. Uh, you talked about wanting your entire team to enjoy every single aspect of this, but knowing that you had a job to do. Was there at any point that you had to wrangle him, wrangle him in, and focus him, or were they there? We talked the other day about the philosophy of 20, 22 and two. We break the day, the day down into twenty four hours. You know, twenty two hours of the day is not basketball is not the most important thing. Basketball takes a, a, a backseat to school, to family, to friends, to social time. But for two hours a day, basketball becomes the most important thing. So that was our. That was our culture. They were talking, and Meech talked about culture. Like, culture's hard. Like, we had to come to the program. The culture's being on time. Culture's doing the right thing. Culture's treating people the right way, saying please and thank you. Culture is um, um, all the little things, right? 
So we talked about 22 and 2 the first day I got the job. I handed it to him. This is how we're going to live. We're going to live by this 22 and 2. So we didn't change just because he won. So we kind of said, hey, these two hours when it's just basketball, let's concentrate on Florida Atlantic. Let's concentrate on the preparation. But when you go away, when we're, we're not meeting for film or not practicing, go do what you do, which I guess is make TikToks. I mean, there's a lot of TikToks out there, so I guess that's what they do. But, um, yeah, so that's, if that's your culture, right, if you, if you lean back on your culture on the good and the bad days, things end up being pretty good. So, you know, you lose a game, it's still your culture. You win a game, it's still your culture. So we didn't change from our culture at all. Um, and I, that's credit to those guys, you know. Kevin Armstrong from NJ.com. How quickly does the pivot come for you now, you know, in terms of, you know, recruiting, whether it's your own guys, the portal, everything, just, you know, building off this success and, you know, just getting into the big picture of the program? Oh, God. Um, yeah, I mean, I've got it. You know, it's like I got, I, got, I had 1,100 un, unreturned texts before the game. I'm sure I got a lot more now. So I've got, I've got to do all that kind of stuff and, and, and do that. But we're going to, we're going to, uh, Enjoy this for a little bit here, obviously. I think you got to take a couple weeks off here, get back to school, get their grades stuff taken care of. But, like, yeah, nothing stop. It doesn't stop. It's part of coaching. I mean, I like to fish. I love to fish. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good fisherman, too. I'm not, I'm not, I'm a, my, my brother's here, Tucker's back there. My sister, Sarah, my two siblings who I love dearly are here. Uh, my parents are not, as you, as you know, I've talked about. My dad and my mom passed away. But I love my two, uh, my two siblings. So I like, I like to fish, right? So I, so I can't wait to go fishing. Like I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, like, you know, when this is all done, so I'm, well, we're going to work and, and get better and use this and use the momentum we just created to, to make the program better. And then at some point, I'm going fishing. <laughs> Coach, go fishing. Thank you for your right, time. Thank you. Right, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you.